Putting the pavement in the wrong shoes sure can feel like torture. Well, now you don't have to give up style for comfort. I'm known for my shoes. Um, I don't want to show up looking bad. Jean Ferrari is always on the run. Even bunion surgery didn't slow her down. New Yorkers are all about get up and go. We, we really cannot be waiting around for our feet to feel good. Ferrari's not alone. Many women agonize over their love of shoes and need for comfort. When it comes to comfort, your feet don't care about style. All the pressure is across this area of the foot. Dr. Paul Greenberg says the right shoe for you depends on your foot type and where it hurts. People think, oh, wearing a high heel shoe is bad. That's not the case. Ballet flats are terrible. Sandals are terrible. Flat shoes without a heel put a lot of stress and strain on the foot. But Dr. Suzanne Levine says fashion can feel good. Her top pick for walking shoes, low wedges. It's a career woman's shoe. And you can walk the streets and navigate for certainly four to five hours without having pain. This gives the foot more structure. Dr. Levine says do your feet a favor and skip very flat shoes, especially flip-flops. These flashy flats have structure and are a better choice. Just add an insole. You can put something in the arch area just like this to give you the necessary support. If you're used to wearing it for four hours a day, you can probably wear it like six or seven hours a day and then have virtually no pain while you're wearing your shoes. Some high heels with extra padding built into the shoe can also work and switching your shoes during the day is another option. And they say commute either in an athletic shoe in a shoe with a wedge, something that's a little bit more tolerable, something with some cushioning, and then when you get to work, you can put on your high heel pumps. If your feet are tired, you're gonna be tired and you're just gonna be in a bad mood. And everyone else will suffer. <laughs> Doctors say get your feet measured and buy the right shoe size. And by the way, as you get older, your feet can get bigger and flatter, so get them checked. For Vanessa and the entire CBS2 News team, thanks for joining us today at five. I'm Christine Johnson. The News at Six starts right now. You're watching CBS 2 News in high definition.